Are you torn between renting and buying your next home? A question that weighs heavy on many of our minds. This decision, seemingly simple, can have a profound impact on both your financial health and your lifestyle. It's a crossroads that sees us juggling the allure of flexibility against the promise of long-term investments. On one hand, renting offers the freedom of short-term commitments and the luxury of being free from maintenance costs. On the other, buying a home presents the opportunity to build equity over time, to put your personal touch on your living space and potentially enjoy tax deductions. However, it also brings with it a more substantial financial responsibility and less flexibility. Today, we delve deep into these two paths, dissecting the pros and cons of each to help you make an informed decision. So stay with us as we dissect these two options, weighing their pros and cons. Let's dive into the world of renting first. Renting as we know it is often the first step we take when we venture out on our own. It offers a level of flexibility that could be quite appealing. There's no long-term commitment to a specific location, making it an ideal choice for those whose work or personal life may require them to move around frequently. If you find yourself in a job that involves a lot of travel or relocation, or if you're just someone who enjoys the freedom to explore new cities or neighborhoods, renting can be a perfect fit. But it's not just about location flexibility. Renting can also provide financial flexibility. When you rent, Maintenance costs are typically not your responsibility. The leaky roof, the broken air conditioner, the temperamental boiler. Those headaches are for the landlord to deal with. This can free up your budget and save you from unexpected expenses. Now let's flip the coin and look at what might be the downsides of renting. One of the primary disadvantages is the lack of equity. When you rent, your monthly payments are not contributing to owning a home. Instead, they're lining the pockets of your landlord. Another potential downside is the unpredictability of rent increases. Unless you're in a rent-controlled apartment, your rent can increase each time your lease is up for renewal. This could lead to financial instability if the increases are significant and frequent. And let's not forget the limitations on personalizing your space. While some landlords might not mind if you paint the walls or hang pictures, others might have stricter rules. This could leave you feeling like you're living in a space that's not truly yours. Renting certainly has its advantages, but it's not without its drawbacks. As with any major decision, it's important to weigh these pros and cons carefully. Consider your lifestyle, your financial situation and your future plans. Whether renting is the right choice for you will depend on these factors and more. Now, let's switch gears and talk about buying. A home is more than just a roof over your head. It's a place to put down roots, to express yourself and to build up a nest egg for your future. When you buy a home, you're building equity. Each mortgage payment is like a deposit into your personal wealth piggy bank. Over time, your home may increase in value and you'll have a tangible asset to show for your hard work. Beyond the financial gains, buying a home offers you the freedom to make your space your own. Fancy a bright pink bathroom or a kitchen garden? Go for it. You are the master of your own domain, free to personalize your space to your heart's content. And don't forget about potential tax deductions. As a homeowner, you may qualify for certain tax benefits that can help offset the cost of your mortgage. But let's not forget that every silver lining has a cloud. Buying a home is a big financial responsibility. It's not just the mortgage payments you need to consider, but also property taxes, insurance and maintenance costs. These can add up quickly and can be unpredictable. And while owning a home may offer stability, it can also limit your flexibility. You can't just pack up and move at the drop of a hat. Selling a house can take time, and you might not always get the price you want when you need to sell. Buying a home also ties up a significant portion of your wealth in a single asset, which can be risky. If property values drop, so too does the value of your investment. So is buying a home for everyone? Definitely not. But for those who crave stability, have a knack for home improvement and are willing to take on the financial responsibility. It can be a rewarding investment. Buying a home can be a great investment, but it's a big commitment. So how do you decide between these two options? The answer isn't as straightforward as you might think. 
It's not merely about whether you can afford a mortgage payment or if you prefer the freedom of renting. It's about considering your long-term goals, assessing your financial situation and taking into account your personal circumstances. Think about where you see yourself in the next 5, 10 or even 20 years. Are you envisioning a life with roots planted deep in one community or do you fancy the idea of being a free spirit, able to pack up and move whenever you wish? Your long-term goals are a significant factor in this decision. If you're looking to settle down and start a family, or if you're nearing retirement, buying a home might be the best bet. On the other hand, if you're in the early stages of your career or you're not quite sure where life is leading you, renting might offer the flexibility you need. Next, you need to evaluate your financial health. Buying a home isn't just about being able to meet monthly mortgage payments. You'll also need to factor in property taxes, insurance and maintenance costs. Renting, on the other hand, typically involves a simpler cost structure and less financial responsibility. Now, look at your personal circumstances. Are you single or do you have a family? Do you work from home or do you commute? Each of these factors will influence whether renting or buying is the right decision for you. Remember, the decision to rent or buy is not a one-size-fits-all scenario. It's a deeply personal choice that should be made after careful consideration of your individual circumstances, financial situation and long-term goals. Your individual circumstances and priorities will largely influence your decision. It's about finding the balance between what you want and what you can afford and choosing the option that best aligns with your life right now and where you see it heading in the future. So renting or buying, which is the best decision for you? As we've explored today, this is not a simple question with a one-size-fits-all answer. It comes down to your personal circumstances and priorities, and both have their own unique advantages. Renting, as we've discussed, offers flexibility. It's ideal for those who value the freedom to move around, whether for work or personal reasons. With no long-term commitment, you're not tied down. Plus, the burden of maintenance costs doesn't fall on your shoulders, giving you peace of mind and more time to focus on what matters most to you. But then again, there's the undeniable allure of buying. Owning your own home is a long-term investment that can build equity over time. It gives you the freedom to make your space entirely your own. There's also the potential to benefit from tax deductions, which is a significant financial perk. However, it comes with increased financial responsibility and less flexibility. So when we talk about making this decision, it's crucial to consider your long-term goals. Are you looking to settle down in one place or are you more nomadic at heart? What about your financial situation? How much can you comfortably afford? These are essential questions to ponder upon. Remember, there's no rush. Take your time to weigh the pros and cons of each option. Get advice from trusted sources. Use online tools to simulate different scenarios. The more information you have, the better equipped you'll be to make the best decision for you. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of our journey today. I hope this discussion has shed some light on the renting versus buying debate and has given you some food for thought. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe for more tips and insights on real estate. We appreciate your support. Let's keep this conversation going. Until next time, cheers.